everybody, it's Jeff Swartz from Ethic Advertising again, wanted to let you know what's going on in my day. So yesterday I was having a really great conversation with a prospective new client that's asking us to look at their TV buying and, um, and planning and uh, in talking with him I could kind of tell that he is a little bit new to the TV and media buying kind of thing. Um, this is one of his first ventures in this. Uh, very intelligent individual just doesn't have a lot of that experience um, and it made me want to make this video on three quick tips on you know when you're first looking at buying broadcast TV uh, for yourself or for potentially you know a client of yours um, the first tip that I, I, I want to let you know is when don't just look at rates don't just look at the cost of a spot in a specific program also factor in I think I've done a video on this before uh, the cost per thousand or the cost per point. So cost per thousand is what it costs to reach a thousand impressions for a specific demographic. So for example, if you are gonna buy the 5 a.m. news for a hundred bucks and it's gonna reach 10,000 people, um, then you can do some basic math to find out that it costs you $10 to reach a thousand people for that program. And then the nice thing about that is you can take that $10 and you can look at another program, have the same thing, and then you have an apples to apples comparison. Um, because when you're buying advertising, yeah, you're, you're buying the programs to be in and everything like that, so you have kind of that, that brand kind of recognition that's aligned with it, and you also have um, that type of audience that likes to watch that, but you're really buying people. I mean, that's what you care about. That's the only reason why you advertise is to reach people, right? So this allows you, on a very basic level to say I'm reaching it cost me this amount of money to reach a thousand people with this program this amount of money to reach a thousand people with this program and you can easily compare them the next um, item that I I would recommend or my next tip is a lot of people are familiar with like Nielsen rating points um, and a lot of times when a TV station presents to a client um, the, the you know their campaign or in and, and what have you the information that they provide is off of those kind of Nielsen rating points or even maybe Comscore uh, and everything where it is the thousands and the rating points and that kind of thing. There is so much more research and data that's available to you nowadays. And you don't have to know the names of them. You don't have to, to be like, hey, I need a Scarborough uh, report on X, Y, and Z and that kind of thing. Just know that you can say, hey, this is really cool. I understand that I'm reaching this amount of people and everything like that, but I'm a Ford dealership and I'm focused on my, my F-150s. Um, I'm only interested in people that want to buy trucks. Can you give me any information on like, the, you know, how you reach people that want to buy trucks? Or I'm a restaurant, I want, you know, I want to reach people that are within a three mile radius of all my different locations. Um, you know, come up with these questions and just ask them. And, and it's okay to ask them because a lot of times they have this information, especially if you're in a larger market, um, but guess what, even if they don't have the information, they'll try to figure out something to give you that kind of data most of the time, or they'll be open and honest and say, listen, sorry, we don't subscribe to that, that, that data and everything, we don't have it, and then, hey, at least you asked, and you, know, you either get it or you don't, but at least you, 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 know, you just need to know to ask for the data that you want, because the research is out there, um, whether the station subscribed to it, it's a totally different thing, but there's, you know, nowadays there's more than just Nielsen rating points. And then the third thing that I want to recommend is if you are new to media buying, advertising, anything really in business, um, but we're going to stick to TV buying, do research, learn, watch videos if, if you're into watching videos, read if you're into reading, just, I mean, there's so much data and so much content out there. Uh, to just kind of learn some tips and tricks and, and everything because there are a lot of ins and out of this business and it is a very complex um, when you're first starting out but you can really simplify it by just educating yourself um, and you can do that via the computer you can do that via books or you can do it via seminars or joining groups or just taking somebody out for lunch or coffee and saying hey listen I understand that you do this kind of thing um, you know, I'm kind of curious. Or, you know, what you know, I personally would recommend, uh, a lot of times if you're the business owner or the individual that's put in charge of it at a company, um, sometimes you don't have time to, to learn all this. Uh, so, it, you know, feel free to interview ad agencies and interview multiple ad agencies too. 
uh, we would love to be one of them, obviously, but, um, you know, send a, you know, send out a couple of interviews, see if there's anybody out there that you want to hire that you feel comfortable with, that you can trust, that you think is going to be a doing a good job for you, and, uh, and hire them because I can guarantee that if an ad agency does what they are supposed to do, they will make you money and save you time, no matter how much money you give to that ad agency. The sole purpose of an ad agency is just like a financial advisor. It is to make you more money than you're investing. And the other nice thing with this too, is then you don't have to spend the time to learn it all yourself or keep up with it. Because that's the other thing. You don't just place a buy, like for TV, you don't just place a buy. You can, and then just say, okay, cool, put it, pay invoices and everything like that. Humans make mistakes, things happen, everything like that. You need to stay up on top of, you know, how the campaign is running when it's running. You need to cross check all the invoices and you need to make sure that everything is in working order every process along the way, which is very, very time consuming. But I can guarantee you that if you take the time to do that, or if you hire somebody to take the time to do that, depending on your advertising budget, you know, we've saved our clients tens of thousands of dollars finding mistakes and then going back saying, we're not paying for that. So you gotta do it. So I guess that's, that's your fourth tip is don't just set it and forget it. Also, you know, do your research on that. All right, cool. Uh, if you have any questions or if, you know, you just wanna chat about your stuff, call me. I'm always willing to have that conversation. Contact us at Ethic Advertising if you're interested in setting up a, uh, uh, a little bit of a, a meeting to, to have us analyze what you're currently doing, see if we can do a little bit better or shoot, you know, who knows, maybe we'll just uh, end up giving you a little bit of info that you can take and utilize yourself as well.